Hi, I decided to make this, this video just to answer all the questions I get asked concerning um, DecoArt's Weatherwood. This is the stuff. It's one of my favourite crackle mediums. It, it does exactly what it says on the bottle, um, so to speak. So I'll just show you this piece of cardstock, uh, one of the ways I use it, and then we go on um, to a few other ways of using the crackle medium. So I've base coated this first. You must put a base coat on. Obviously this is going to be the colour that will show through your top coat. Um, but the, the base coat also seals the substrate you're using. So with the base coat applied and dry, I'll just clean my brush out. I'm just going to apply a top coat, a middle coat of weather wood. You don't want this too thick, just a nice even application. There we go, and then for those of you who are impatient like me, we can heat dry this. We want it to be dry, but just touch dry, so there's no tackiness there. It doesn't have to be completely dry. Um, if you dry it too much, it won't it won't crackle. Go, that's touched dry. So I'll apply the top coat now. And again, you don't want this too thick. You don't want to overwork it. If you do overwork it, you'll start to pull away the weathered wood. So you'll see now that this is already starting to crack. You can speed it up again with your heat tool. There you go. So I'll just zoom in slightly on this. Okay, so just a nice crackle there. Okay, so we'll move on. Um, if you're a control freak and you want to control the direction that the crackle goes, you can also do that, and you can do that in two ways. So I'll just grab my um, piece of test card. Okay. So on this um, piece of card here, I've put a background of grey on. On this one, I've applied the weather wood in downward strokes, this one horizontal and this one diagonal. And you'll actually see, if I zoom in, that the crackle has gone towards the direction that I've applied the weather wood. So you'll see this crackle here is going diagonally, this one more horizontally, and this one more vertically. So that's controlling the direction. Um, by the way you apply the weather wood medium and the direction that you apply it. But you can also control it by the direction of your top coat. Let me zoom out a little bit. So the weather wood was just applied horizontally in a couple of brush strokes and then the top coat on this one here, as you can see where the arrow is, was applied vertically. This one horizontally and this one diagonally and you'll see again that the actual crackle has followed the direction of the brush strokes. I hope that makes sense. But there, so you can see the top coat direction, the cracks have actually followed that. The same again here with the horizontal one. And then these ones have gone downwards. So you can control the direction. I tend to just go with it. I tend to just go with it and not worry too much about this. Um, now if you apply the top coat with random brush marks such as this one here 
So I've applied the top coat, crisscrossing. You get random crackles. Just zoom in. So they're not flowing in any direction. They're just very, very random. This works a lot better if you do this with a top coat, but you have to be careful with the top coat because, as I say, if you overwork it, you start to take away the paint and the weather will come, uh, medium will come away. So that's how you can control the direction. And I'm just going to show you something slightly different um, now with the weather board using translucent paints. OK, so this piece of card, um, I've applied gold to the background and I've stamped on top just, just quickly with a, a script stamp and archive link. Now, if you're going to use gold, it must be your base colour and not your top coat. If you put gold on top of another colour over the weathered wood, it's not going to crackle, it's not going to react. So if you use metallic colours, always as a base coat to show through. Um, so I'm just going to show you on this using translucent colours on top. So we want that gold to come through and, and hopefully the script as well. Um, so the first colour I'll apply is a colour called Quinacridrone Gold. It's taken me a long time to try and state that. I'm going to go in with a, a little bit of naphthol red, a little bit more maybe, some Indian yellow, transparent yellow oxide, just wash this brush out a little bit. some Quin Violet. And just heat that to speed up the crackle. Hopefully if I zoom in, you will see that the translucent paint is crackled, but you can still see the gold and the script shining through. So it's another way, I don't see many people using this with um, transparent um, top coats, and it's just quite a nice way of using it. Uh, on this it. piece of cardstock, um, I've sealed half the cardstock, this side is unsealed and I've applied weathered wood and you'll see where it's unsealed it's not going to crackle where the weathered wood's um, applied on top of the sealed surface it will crackle. So we're just going to go across with a, a translucent paint again, this is some Quin Gold. Just dry this to speed up the crackle process. So if we zoom in. You will see that this side, unsealed, hasn't crackled. This side that's sealed first has crackled. You can still see the uh, the music notes below because it's a translucent paint that we've used. Um, it's just a real nice effect on on card. Okay, so finally, I'll just show you this, which has got a, a multicolour background. It doesn't have to be the background. Doesn't have to be just one colour. And we just apply a coat of weathered wood to it. And 
Okay, and I'll just dry this up. I'm just going to apply the top coat now. This is just some buttermilk. I don't know if you can see on the video, hopefully you can. We've got lots of different colours coming through on the cracks, so the greens, the blues, the yellows. Okay, so it doesn't have to just be a, a single colour base coat. You can mix it up a little. So I hope this has answered um, a few of the questions and given you a few more ideas with crackle mediums. Um, for me, the, the translucent effect is a really nice one. You can also put translucent washes over the top of this again if you sort of want to muddy it up a little bit and make it a little bit older. Yeah, let's give that a try. And you could also Go on with some um, archival ink. This is coffee archival ink. You know, and age it a little bit more. So finally. Uh, and very importantly, the weatherwood medium should always be varnished or sealed. It's okay if you're just going to have it hanging on the wall and not be in touch, but to be honest, it takes seconds to seal something. So I'm just going to put a coat of decoupage sealer. Just to protect it from scratching.
there we go, all done. So I hope this is, like I say, explained a few things to you. And um, yeah, have a play.